Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, we're going to be talking about engines running lean, and I'm going to give you 11 reasons why right after this. Now, when an engine runs lean, it can be difficult to troubleshoot. That's why I put this video together. Let's get to it. Number one, vacuum leaks. Vacuum leaks can cause a whole host of problems. One of the problems just happens to be lean conditions. This happens when unmeasured air enters into the intake manifold, creating an unbalanced air fuel mixture. Replacing your vacuum lines with new hoses and using zip ties for each connection can eliminate the problem. Number two, clogged fuel filter. A clogged fuel filter will lean out the vehicle by limiting the amount of fuel that enters into the fuel rail. When the injectors open, the fuel pressure in the rail will drop drastically, causing lean conditions. Replacing the fuel filter with a new one can resolve this issue. Number three, bad fuel pressure regulator. A bad fuel pressure regulator will definitely cause lean conditions. This can happen several different ways. One way is when the fuel pressure regulator leaks fuel outside the diaphragm into the atmosphere. The other way is when the diaphragm has a hole in it. A fuel pressure regulator under vacuum causes the diaphragm to be pulled up. But when it's in boost, boost pressure is pushed into the diaphragm via vacuum hose, which pushes the diaphragm down, adding one pound of fuel for each pound of boost. This is referred to as the one-to-one -one ratio. If there's a tear in the diaphragm, this will prevent the regulating part of the diaphragm from sealing properly. This results in low fuel pressure, which causes lean conditions. Replacing the diaphragm or the fuel pressure regulator can fix the lean condition. Number four, leaking fuel line. A leaking fuel line causes lean conditions from pressure loss. Fuel leaks can be a challenge to track down. This is because the fuel evaporates very quickly. The most common fuel leak locations are at the fuel filter fittings where the fuel line connects to the sending unit. One of the most overlooked connections is inside the tank. This leak is located at the fuel pump assembly. The hose that runs from the fuel pump to the sending unit is often overlooked. A lot of times the wrong type of hose is used in which causes swelling and leaking. Replacing the fuel pump hose with a submergible fuel compliant hose can fix the lean condition. Number five, low voltage to fuel pump. In some cases, low voltage to the fuel pump will be the reason for lean conditions. This is more noticeable under mid to wide open throttle. When the vehicle is under load, the voltage tends to drop and not maintain 12 volts or greater. This can be from the main relay or a short in the fuel pump wiring. Replacing the main relay or repairing the fuel pump wiring can fix this issue. Number six, bad fuel pump or dirty strainer. A bad fuel pump is just that, a bad fuel pump. Getting in contact with the manufacturer and asking for the proper diagnosis procedure can help with troubleshooting the issue. A bad strainer, or in other terms, a bad fuel pump filter can also cause lean conditions. This can happen two ways. The first way is the filter collapses and not able to siphon up enough fuel to the pump. The second way is the fuel filter just gets extremely dirty and slows down the flow. Replacing a strainer with a new one can resolve the issue. Number seven, bad O2 sensor or wideband. A bad O2 sensor or wideband can definitely cause lean conditions. This happens when the O2 or wideband incorrectly reports back to the ECU. When the ECU receives the wrong data, it can make the vehicle run lean. Replacing the O2 or wideband can resolve the issue. Number eight, clogged or dirty injectors. Clogged or dirty injectors will definitely cause lean conditions. This happens when the injector filter gets clogged with contaminants and are not able to spray enough fuel into the cylinders to keep the correct air fuel ratios. When not enough fuel is added, the vehicle begins to run lean. Having the injector flow tested or replacing them with new ones will fix the issue. Number nine, Dirty or bad mass airflow sensor. A dirty mass airflow sensor will definitely cause lean conditions. This happens when outside contaminants get stuck to the mass airflow sensor. When contaminants are stuck to the sensor, the sensors are not able to measure the airflow. This results in a false report to the ECU which creates lean conditions. Spraying the mass airflow sensor with mass airflow cleaner can resolve the issue. In some cases, the mass airflow sensor is unrepairable and needs to be replaced. Number 10, exhaust leak. An exhaust leak will definitely cause a false lean condition. This usually happens at idle and mid-throttle, not wide open throttle. When a vehicle has a cracked manifold or loose connection, moving exhaust gases create a vacuum through the crack pulling in oxygen. This is referred to as a venturi effect. 
At wide open throttle, this isn't the case because the exhaust manifold is pressurized. If the leak or crack is before the O2 sensor, the sensor reads too much oxygen and reports back to the ECU that the vehicle is running lean. Now the vehicle actually is not running lean. It's running rich, but the O2 sensor does not know that and will tell the ECU to rich in the fuel mixture. This will cause poor MPG. Number 11, stuck PCV. When the pinnel inside a PCV valve is stuck open, this causes an engine to run lean. This can be from carbon buildup inside the PCV valve or the spring inside the PCV valve is broken. Replacing the PCV valve with a new one can fix this issue. Hey, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell. If you don't hit the bell, you will not get notified of my future uploads. So hit subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.